Welcome back to Pilot Stack. This is John Ward. This is number three in our series of engine failure introductions. We number one was uh, a demonstration from uh, high altitude, 4,500 feet down to a farmer's field. Uh, video number two was the student's practice of uh, basically the same procedure. Now we've returned to the airport to work on basically the last 1,000 feet. Uh, kind of cut down our risk of doing uh, multiple engine failures down low over farmers fields and noise abatement and minimum altitude fly rules etc so we like to practice the the last thousand feet uh, basically at the airport the uh, first uh, first portion of the video you're going to see is a demonstration uh, we'll be at NOS Field, Delta Victor Oscar, which is a uh, uncontrolled field uh, about 25 miles north of San Francisco uh, we'd rather be in left traffic for the students' uh, uh, view of the cockpit or view from the cockpit to the runway, uh, but because of winds, it was favoring three one, so we'll be in right traffic. Some of the uh, phrases you're going to notice on the demonstration you might not be familiar with. One is uh, gouges, a, a phrase we use, basically means memorized portions of the traffic pattern that we've seen before so we know where a base leg turn should be we know where the final should be it's unfortunately one of those things if you fly around the pattern enough times those same points keep showing up so the word gouges come up another emphasis is uh, when we're turning base legs since we're going to be in a 172 high wing airplane uh, I use the phrase we're blind to the airport meaning we're in the turn can't see around the corner of the airplane the wing is down so we're just using some faith that we're going to be hopefully on a decent path when we do uh, roll out on base. Get ourselves on base, big evaluation time. Uh, for most part, we should be on airspeed, but the big decision, high or low. Um, low means we're maybe not going to make the runway, so what do we do? Shorten our distance to the runway, cut the corner, or point it towards the numbers. Uh, on path, uh, we will basically keep it squared off. And then high would be, uh, we'd be turning away from the airport. In other words, build some more distance to allow the airplane to descend. Biggest concept um, trying to emphasize here is uh, conserving altitude till uh, the runway is made for sure. In other words, that means staying slightly above best glide speed to avoid the stall. Keeping our flaps in the up position to avoid drag. And then when a point is reached on final, which is guaranteed we're going to make that runway, what do we do? Somewhat aggressively pitch down, flaps, and if needed, slip um, to get that airplane uh, down to the runway as soon as we can. And we don't use the phrases too much in, in this particular video of near side and far side obstacles. We, we talked about that in, on the first video. Um, basically, the uh, near side obstacle for the runway would be the threshold. Far side obstacle would be the, depart the departure end of the runway. NOS field is 3,300 feet long. Uh, our aim point we're trying to use this is the, what we call the first intersection. that will be emphasized several times, which is basically 1,100 feet down the runway. So that's basically what we're aiming for, is to try to touch down as close to that spot as we, as we, as we can. So let's, uh, let's take a look at uh, my first uh, demo of a power-off approach. Uh, traffic says the two Alpha Delta Center to midfield right down one for three one us. Okay, this looks like your closed pattern right here. Beam is basically the wind sock. That's about where I'd like to touch down, about a third of the way down the runway. Between the wind sock and the first intersection. Okay, there's down one a beam. Ours to idle. Pictures rich, flaps up. Trim it. do have all our gouges out here to help us out, but I'm just kind of watching that angle. Well, it's not quite 45 past my wing yet. Looking back, yeah, that's coming up on a 45, so let's make our turn. Flying to the airport, so I really can't tell what the path's doing. The faster I can get myself on base, the faster I can see what that power off path looks like and make a decision from it. How do I look? Uh, not too bad. Not excessively high or low for sure. Much higher than normal because I want to be higher than normal. Yeah. 
Jones on the inside. I'm starting to go high here, so I'm pitching down. Keep that speed up so I don't stall it. Don't stall it. Don't stall it. Not quite sure I make the runway for sure. Not quite sure. Not quite Pitch sure not yet. Not available. Not quite sure yet. Hold what I have. Much higher than normal. Much higher than normal. Okay, I've got it made for sure. Flaps, pitch, slip. Down we go. Down we go. That's pretty much your normal path right there. Take it out of the slip. There's my speed, about 60. And see how close to the first intersection I touch down. Uh, like oh, a little good. bit of a bounce. Whoa, a little bit of a balloon. There's a touchdown. Oh, about a third of the way down the runway, exactly what I wanted. So it still takes all the basic elements of a normal landing. All we're doing is moving our visual path up higher. Uh-huh. And the key to it, and what's going to be the challenge for you, is being on final and asking yourself the question, when do I have that runway made for sure? Uh, At that point, I go full flaps, the nose comes down, I do the slip, and yeah. I drop down to, okay, that looks like normal path. Take, Get rid of the slip. Don't need it anymore. Otherwise, otherwise we're going to get ourselves low. And no reason to be low. Okay, so we saw how the, the demonstration went. Uh, now the student's going to try the same basic engine failure from the pattern himself. Things to note, he will be turning his base leg slightly late. When he gets to the rollout on base or the key position, we point out to him he is a little bit on the low side, so he has to make that right turn directly to the runway to cut down his distance. As he gets his path uh, looking to the point that he can easily make the runway, we deploy full flaps and uh, doesn't need the slip. But what he really, uh, you're going to see on all the videos today when he is practicing this, he has a real hard time um, bleeding off all that airspeed in the flare. You can see a lot of emphasis of uh, get that airspeed down to a minimum value, get to the landing pitch attitude before touchdown. Uh, so if this is truly is as off airport landing, uh, he can be at a minimum energy level. Let's take a look, see how he does. Last traffic says the two tails are in the midfield, right down wind through one us. Power to idle. Pitcher's rich. Ups are up. Sorry, okay, that's what we want, right? Yeah, that's just, just confirming. Confirming our configuration. Okay. Pitch, pitch is looking good, airspeed is slowly getting down to what you want. And we're looking for a 45? That 45 is getting there, it's about 30. It's 45 to the first intersection. Okay, I'm calling out a 45, so we'll make that turn. A good pitch control in the turn so we don't stall it. Yeah. That's 75. And I'll run the throttle for you. Okay, so there's your rollout. Take a look. This is slightly low, so let's go towards the numbers. Shorten the route a little bit, so we're just a little bit on the low side. Yeah, that's good. Still, that's good right there. Still got 76. Yeah. Should look for about 70 right here. Because we're still low. Pitch up slightly. We're still low. Getting close. Getting close. Okay, there's 73. Can't go getting much close. Than that. We're getting close to the high path we want. Okay, full flaps. Right into the numbers. Point the nose right into the numbers. No slip. You don't need a slip. Point it straight down. Point it into the numbers. There you go. Point it in there. Point it, point it, point it, point it, point it. There you go. Keep smooth. Keep it 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 smooth. Okay, now dissipate your speed. Normal flare. Take the float. Take the float. Hold it off. Hold it off. Hold it off. Float, 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 float. Under one foot. Float it. Float it. Float it. Float it. Float it. Float it. Let's snap that wheel. Okay, so first time, not so bad. Uh, so when we turn base, judgment call that I made was, hey, we're a little bit low. Well, we can't add power, that option's gone. So the only way we can take care of load is to shorten the path to the runway. So we turn towards the runway. So then as we started going towards the runway center line, the path was just slowly, slowly, slowly increasing. Hey, that's looking good. And then a point is reached in which we're saying, okay, 
We've got the runway made for sure. Flaps to full. Point the nose right towards the numbers. We didn't really need the slip that much. But what's hap what happens is it's easy to get down there in the flare with a lot of extra airspeed. Yeah. And so it's real easy for you to hit the nose tire first or imagine landing on the farmer's field. Yeah. Rough terrain like that. You've got to just take the float. I see. Take the float because we've got to touch down like that beautiful landing you did two ago. It was just that perfect pitch attitude, zero sink rate of touchdown. So when we go crashing through signs and culverts and all that kind of stuff, we have our energy at the minimum. Well, we just saw how we did on the first one. Pretty good job. Uh, now he's going to be basically the same spot on downwind again from a thousand foot of beam. Uh, things to note here, he is going to be a little bit higher. We're going to square off that pattern uh, from the base leg to final. And he is going to have to get those flaps down and the slip. And uh, just for some background, uh, slips low next to the ground. This is probably only about the third or fourth time the student has done slips. We've introduced him up at altitude, so he's still pretty uh, nervous on doing those slips for the drag. But that's uh, what we're trying to encourage on these uh, power-off approaches. Uh, still has a, a challenge on uh, holding that airplane off the surface before touchdown. A lot of emphasis on that from me. Uh, but you'll see this, this continued improvement. And note, again, where he's touching down, uh, it's a little bit on the firm side, but he is touching down about uh, 1,100 feet down the runway just to beam that first taxiway. Let's take a look. Okay, here comes down on a beam. Oh, go oh. power to idle. Last time we got ourselves a little low, so maybe we'll want to turn base just a little earlier. Make sure we don't stall it. We're at 70s. Looking perfect. Got a great pitch, good speed. Just not available. Roll out. Quick evaluation of your path. High, lower, just right. How's it look? Uh, it looks good for a crash landing. It's good. It's good. So we just keep it squared off. Keep it okay, squared. Don't, turn, don't, don't turn right. Don't turn right. Don't, don't, oh, don't turn yeah. right. 73. That's go. good. Okay, we're not going to stall it as long as we pitch down. All right, so it's going to be a pretty short final, so it's going to be the pitch and flaps fairly quickly. Yeah. Okay, so here we're turning final. Runway's made for sure. Flaps full, pitch down. Pitch down, there you go. I'll run your right rudder full full in. The slip, run it all the way in, run it in, run it in. Run it in, keep that slip all the way in there. Keep it in, keep it in. Now ease the rudder out. You get some extra speed. No rudder. Keep it neutral. Hold it off. Hold it off. Hold it off. Hold it. Take the float. Float, float, float. Don't land. Don't land. Don't land. Don't land. Smooth. Don't land. Smooth. Don't land. Don't land. Don't land. Don't land. Don't land. There you go. That's the pitch attitude you want to touch down. And I have control for taxi. Okay. So do you get the concept of over the runway? Don't land it? Yeah, yeah. I got it that time. Because see, it just... What I... Gonna say, I'm not looking at airspeed indicators. I'm, two things I'm looking at. I'm seeing a lot of ground speed. In other words, they're going very fast across the ground. Two, I see the pitch real low. And I'm going, well, there's no way we're going to allow any tires to touch with that pitch that low. Uh -huh. So that's why I'm saying don't land, don't land. Because we know we have to get that pitch rotated up to the landing attitude before we allow the airplane to land. Yeah. And that, what's that do? It burns up runway. So what did you do? You let you touch down maybe a stripe past the first intersection. Perfect. Uh huh. That was that was real nice. But you can see, uh, it's all kind of slow motion on downwind. It's slow motion on base. But when we get to final, all of a sudden, okay, we need to pick the pace up. Okay, now we're back to the uh, student's third attempt. Uh, we're getting better. And you'll notice on this one, um, he's going to have to square off that base leg again. He's challenged with uh, seeing his path for the power off approaches. He's seen normal approaches so many times, and he just doesn't have quite the uh, new sight picture for that high, uh, the high power off a of path. So I've got to help him with that. Getting a lot better with his flaps, a lot better with his slip, and notice where his touchdown is, and notice what his touchdown technique is. Uh, well above average, to say the least. Let's take a look. We'll turn base. If we find ourselves at a high path, we'll turn away from the airport. Turn away from the touchdown point. 
at 74. Okay, so here's our key position. How's that view look? It looks, what do you think? Uh, for, uh, it looks good for what we're doing. Okay, it's turn back high. left, turn back left. Don't cut the corner then. Below, we'd cut the corner. Here we'll try, you're trying to square off the corner to lose altitude. The path still looks high. Okay, we got 70, we'll Good. install it. Good. Okay, I think we can... Okay, stand by, don't let the pitch drop. Keep that pitch up, keep that pitch up, keep the pitch up, keep the pitch up. Yeah, we want 70. Line up and center line. Well, one of you have got it made, you pitch and flaps. We got it made now. Okay. Push that pitch nose down. not available. Keep still high and fast, slip. Anchor on field, Sirius uh, 924 Whiskey's 4.5 miles to the east inbound. For Canals, any traffic area, please advise. Smoothly take it out, smoothly. Now don't land it, don't land it, don't land it. Keep the float, don't land it, 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 right at the first taxiway. Perfect, 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 and perfect. Well, that was great. Real oh. good on that. Well, the takeaway should be um, change that pattern around so much, but look where we end up touching down. Within a couple hundred feet of the same spot every single time. That's the confidence level we want to get. So um, when we don't have this huge amount of runway available, we only have that little short farmer's field, we can still get kind of tucked into a pretty small spot.